Lesedi Labatu is a Christian NGO that was established in March 2011. The name, Lesedi Labatu, says it all. Their aim is to be the light for the people, making Mabapani a great place for all. The vision of the organization is to inspire, empower, motivate, engage and equip the youth and the community at large. They aim to achieve this through different projects that address community development through sport, education, skills training, the arts, social enterprise development and social relief. The mission of Lizetti Labatu is to provide the community, particularly the youth, with the opportunities and skills required to realize their full potential, find their purpose and ultimately become contributing members of society. Today, Lesedi Labatu is a multifaceted organization which focuses on all aspects of community development. They believe that opportunities and skills can truly alter the destiny of their beneficiaries. Their skills training and job creation initiative takes place at a center in Mobapani. Department of Education avails an unused school for this very purpose. At the center, they conduct training classes in sewing and beading, baby healthcare, baking skills, and computer literacy. Their life skills training has a heavy focus on employability skills, boosting participants' chances of securing employment post-training. A crucial aspect of Lizetti Labatu's work is ensuring that every person who is trained is placed into employment. This is a comprehensive program where collaboration with government departments and private companies is key to the program's success. My name is Vivian Koza. I'm the job placement officer. My job is to find jobs for our skill training beneficiaries. I help them in CV writing, applying jobs online, searching jobs through newspapers. I'm referring them to different companies and also train them for job interview. Due to a severe lack of resources, many Mabapani community members are unable to attend the centre and utilise the free training. The Outreach and Social Relief Programme is designed to meet the needs of these community members, providing practical and emotional support where necessary. My name is Ria Mutuakai. I'm the Centre Director of Lise de Lavato. I'm working here at the centre to make sure that all the courses are running smoothly. I love working with people and my main passion is to work with people who are in need of care or help and the poor of the poorest. Lesedilawatu means a lot to me. Lesedilawatu is, is like it's my life. Lesedi Labatu works very closely with funders who support this non-sustainable yet vital component of this holistic empowerment program. I came here, I'm, I'm from Race of Hope and I'm tracking on our projects regularly. I think it's a wonderful way of really helping the poorest of the poor, that they have a safe home, that they have a, a place where they can sleep. It's not only the shack, the shack is the beginning of the help and it's just a bare necessity. But later on it goes with people reevolably in the picture and, and they will have home visits so that they can improve their lives and maybe break out of the circle of poverty. We decided on this city because the impact you see is enormous on the people in the community. I can only say it's a brilliant work this organization is doing and I like to interact with them. And on the professional side, I like how they keep their books. You know, we had a bad experience before and they have a very transparent bookkeeping and uh, I, I feel very safe with them. We had bad experiences and now we just know where our money is going and I can go back to my, uh, to my donors in the, uh, Germany and can tell them what is done with their money. Lesedi Labatu wholeheartedly believes that everyone has the right to be treated with respect, regardless of their circumstances. The program works specifically with commercial sex workers, with the primary aim being to bring a sense of self-worth and dignity back to a group which has lost hope. My name is Monika Rtlambu and I'm the project manager of Bokamoso. Our aim is to provide non-judgmental advice to these ladies and also to help them live an independent life and also have a better future. We also want to provide opportunities for education and alternative employment. I would like the number of these commercial sex workers decreasing. They're attending this training because 
uh, it is part of those skills training and they can open their own businesses in the near future. This is a unique program which uses individual counselling, outreach, support groups, skills training, emotional support, as well as practical help to empower and care for these ladies. Although Lesedi Labatu undertakes community development work as a whole, its primary focus remains the youth. The greatest impact of the organization can be seen within the seven high schools and four primary schools in Mabapani. This equates to a target group of over 6,000 learners. They work closely with the Department of Education, who allow them to implement the ethnic-specific, proactive information program during life orientation lessons. Lesedi Labatu utilizes the youth development through football program designed by the German International Corporation, GIZ, to depart essential life skills to the learners. Sport is a very powerful tool for development and has proven to be a highly effective way to transfer vital information to the youth. Over the last three years, Lesedi Labatu has fully utilized both toolkits as well as the medium of arts and culture to conduct various programs on teenage pregnancy, health, and human rights. Lisedi has done a great job for me. They changed my life because if I look where I was staying before I joined Lisedi and where I'm staying now, there's a the greatest difference. I know how I feel, how somebody feels if, if you are poor because I, I'm coming from a poorest background. The most important I, I, I teach the kids is sex education because I know they always fall into, into trap. Usually the parents, they cannot be very free to their kids to tell them everything, especially in Africa. It's like it's not our norm to tell the kids exactly what it is, especially in sexual issues and then in, in social situations. Uh, Bradley is a blessing here because Bradley is one guy who's different from the teachers. He's open and friendly and he allows us to share our own opinions about a specific topic. True and false. What is the answer? You should have sex with them to prove that you love them. When you, when you, when you have sex with your partner, you make a love for that person to be strong. Uh, you mean say that um, Having sex can strengthen your love. So proving love through sex is not the right thing to do. Many girls, they go through that road because they feel insecure. Maybe where they come from, their parents never told them that they, they love them. So when they go out there and someone says, I love you, they, they, start, go to, they start to go crazy. The difference between feeling and being ready. Feeling ready and being ready is two different things. Because feeling, they, they are very triggered. They're gonna, you, you're going to feel that I'm ready. But while it's you are not ready. So that's why you see there's a lot of people who are being in jail because of feelings. Because if you don't control them, then you'll be having a problem. So you mustn't feel that you are ready. You must know that I am ready. For me, uh, learning through funny, the kids love to learn through funny. So when I'm using a book, Everyone, they, they, they want to have funny. So I'm using funny tricks to convey my message. If I bring the ball, then we play. When we play together, then we start to, 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 to be close to each other. Then that's how now the relationship begins. A key focus of the school program was the USAID, TB and HIV program, where 102 lives were saved. A significant milestone for both the organization and the community of Mabapani. For me, it's difficult because some children, they think that at home we are poor. They call my mother and tell, him, tell her that I'm, I have TB. The first time I felt bad because I thought like I will, I'm going to die. I want to thank Ausintwag for the help and I want to eat properly so that TB, even when it, it tries to come in my body, it, will, it won't. How do we take care of ourselves as teenage mothers? 
it is difficult because that that time when I, I I didn't have a baby, I would go to parties with my friend. But now I can't go to parties with my friend. I always I'm always sitting with my baby. I, I was so ashamed to tell people that I have a baby, so that I was thinking that they were they were going to 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 to, to laugh at me. I was lonely and there was no one who who, who support me. Mm -hmm. When I was pregnant, mm -hmm. everyone was saying that I must have abortion. I don't have the money to carry at the school, even to buy myself the shoes of school or nothing. What um, Austin Zoki had told me is one thing that I will never forget in my life. She told me that the baby is the blessing from God and you must not be afraid. You must not be ashamed that you have a baby. I'm teaching these ladies to take care of themselves, to love their children, and then most of all, to take the schoolwork serious. And then I don't like them to be the bad leaders. I want them to be the good leaders. They must be uh, the good leaders who have dreams, goals, and wishes. And they must be the leaders of their children. Aosin Swaki has helped us with a lot of things because he had taught us that we must come to school and be brave because we have children. And some other of other children, we don't come from a good family, so we have to, we have to be quite brave because of, we have to be, we have to study at school and come to school daily so that we can be educated and work for our children. So I'm trying to uh, make uh, them to see life in a different angle. Mm -hmm. Yes, because of like most of their parents they dropped out from the grade 7, grade 6. So most of the time I'm trying to show them that without education you, you won't go anywhere. I can say that Lisedi Lavatu is a light that came in my life. Yeah, they put light where there was darkness in my life. And they, they helped me very much. If it wasn't for them, my life wouldn't have been like this today. I mean, like, I wouldn't have finished my matric if it wasn't for them. I was four months, yeah, four months pregnant when I found out. I planned that I would give the child away. Um, I was thinking that, what, what am I going to do with two children? I'm not working. What will I do? How will I maintain them? I fear that I wouldn't be a good mother to those boys. I completed my grade 12 last year. Yeah, it was possible because um, I was introduced to the daycare. Then I took my children there. They looked after them without any fear so that I can finish my studies at Mabupani High. I did. I did finish my studies, and yeah, here I am. Today is my graduation. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud that at least I proved to my mother that I can do something good, except for the fact that I repeated that mistake. I just put that aside and said, Mother, I will make, I will make it up to you, and I did. I did make it up to her. <laughs> mm, Lisedi changed my life. I'm running my own business, I'm doing beads, and I'm sewing just a little bit. I'm not perfect in sewing, but in beads, number one. Well, I'd say Lisedi. For the community of Maupani, it's like hope. They actually made my life easy. The city is a stepping, st it's the stepping stone for, for each and everybody who started here. I inspire people to come into the city, especially young children, young youth, to come and join us at the city. Because we want, to, we want them to learn how to, do, to, to work for themselves. Oh, Lesedi has changed my life tremendously. I was doing computer basic literacy for three months and they gave me the certificate and now I'm working. 
I see it as a great opportunity, especially for us youngsters. We don't usually get this kind of opportunities, you know, because we want to be trained, we want to be skilled, but we don't get that opportunity based on our areas, where we, the community where we come from. I'm proud of my job, I'm proud of my hands, I'm proud, I'm proud of people who come here and get land and chase poverty away. It has changed my life tremendously. Like in the past five, work, five years I've been with Lisedi. I've gained a lot of experience interacting with people, uh, gaining my confidence. They empowered me and I was very equipped by what they were teaching at, during workshops. So I learned a lot from Lisedi and I've grown. Lisedi is very important for me because it gives people the opportunity to to study and it gives people chances that I want to create my own brand start designing my own clothes coming with something unique so I think the city helped me so so far I can say the city has gave me that chance of becoming something in my future in my life, you know, I can build something in my life. And Lisedi helps me so much because without Lisedi, I'll be at home doing nothing, maybe older than now. Because now I'm 60 years old, but I can still wake up in the morning and run to the bus so that I'll be, I, I must be on time at work. Comparing to our life where we were back then, it was horrible. Now we look nice. Lisedi has put us on top. Uh, the most important thing about Lisedi project, Lisedi Labat, is that I can do things on my own. I can put food on the table. I can feed my, my, my family because I can buy beads, do, uh, uh, do them because even this thing I'm wearing, I did it myself. People, people with no hope, being given hope, people who have no um, no thoughts whatsoever of what to do with their lives, being given the skills that they need to improve their lives. And I find that fulfilling because that is part of my job as a pastor, is to, is to do that. But obviously on my own I cannot do that, but in an environment like this at Lisedi, I can join hands with Lisedi and partner with them and see a lot of lives being transformed. Oh. When I got to know the city, I just lost my mom and I was left to, to raise my two little sisters. So it was really hard for me because I was not waking. Well, I'm a teenage mother and my daughter this year will be turning three years old. From she was six months old when I came to the city. The situation was tough because I had to manage. I had to take my daughter to my grandmother, then go to school, then take her back, come back home with her because I don't live with my grandmother. I live with my sister. So then immediately when they helped me with the daughter, I was able to take her to crutch, go to school, then stay for after lessons, then fetch my daughter, then go back home. They actually made my life easy. That's all I can say. They made my life easy in many ways. Like. They made me able to eat at home because they gave me food parcels. They made my school life easy because they, they stayed with my daughter while I went to school with no fees demanded from me. I wish Lisedi to carry on, not to end to Catherine's home, but to go on, continue doing what they are doing. It's a very good thing though. We thank them very, very much for what they are doing. I thank for everything, for the certificate, for giving me the opportunity to do what I did and to show me that we are all equal. I just hope it's not only me and other few graduated who are graduating today here, but also other guys who don't know about this school. I will also spread the word about it. I hope they grab that chance and come here. I thank the city so that I have realized my dreams and I have passion in whatever I'm doing. I'm doing it with, 
with with all my heart. Yo, I wish one day I will come on TV talking to women who are staying at home doing nothing. Tell them to come at Lisedi and see what women are doing at Lisedi. It is clear that Lisedi Labatu has had a remarkable impact on the Mobapani community over the last five years. This is the work of very dedicated employees and the complete ownership of the projects by the community. Lisedi Labatu wishes to honor everyone who has been part of this incredible journey, honoring the staff, their funders, partners, and stakeholders in their continued commitment to making Mobapani a great place for all.